Now, vitamin C, elderberry, zinc, there are a lot of reasons to believe these can boost your immune system, but there's also warnings about overdoing them or mixing them with medications. One doctor in the hardest hit area of America, New York, is giving coronavirus patients frequent doses of vitamin C, and he says it's helping. The data to prove it won't be available for months, though. And taking high doses of vitamins is best left to professionals since there is such a thing as vitamin overdoses. But as part of a healthy lifestyle, nutritionists like Crystal Hadnot advise you to get your vitamins from food. I do believe that you can protect your immune system from being more susceptible to catching viruses. Foods rich in vitamin C are citrus fruits, strawberries, broccoli, bell peppers. Zinc is also important since it's critical in the cell function in your immune system. Shellfish, eggs, nuts, and beans all have zinc. And so many of you swear a dose of elderberry a day keeps illness away. But what you may not know is mixing it with prescription medications can have adverse effects. It does have benefits. It does elevate the immune system, it makes the immune system more active. Um, but I tell people active is not necessarily a good thing when it comes to certain people on different medications. So you have to be cautious of that. Talk to your doctor before taking elderberry if you're on steroids, autoimmune medications, chemo, diabetes medications, and prescribed diuretics. But Harvard Medical School says the only guaranteed information they know about nutrition and the immune system is that you need regular nourishment to stay healthy. There's no definitive human studies on vitamins and zinc. What is proven to improve your immune system immediately? Quit smoking, eat a diet with lots of fruits and vegetables, exercise regularly, maintain a healthy weight, drink alcohol only in moderation, get adequate sleep, and minimize stress. While those things may improve your immunity, none of these things are a cure or prevention for coronavirus. Once a virus is in your body, you guys know the phrase by now, it has to run its course. Definitely, all right.